Hello, my name is Afton and I work in technical support here at IDT. Today I want to order a plate of general PCR primers for a list of genes that I'm currently working with. I don't actually already have the designs for the primer sequences, so I need to use one of our design tools to help me design these PCR primers. Since I just need general PCR primers, I'm going to use our PrimerQuest tool, which is located from the SciTools dropdown. That can be located on any page of our website. Once I get to this page, I need to choose how I would like to enter those sequences. I already have a list of comma-separated accession numbers, which I can paste into this NCBI ID number section. I'll click Get Sequence, which allows those sequences to load. I can see that all 19 of my accession numbers did load into there. Next, I need to choose the design for my primers. As I mentioned, I'm going to be doing general PCR, so I can choose this first orange button that says PCR2 primers. Since I did ask the tool to give me 19 different designs for the 19 accession numbers, those will load as they're ready. Uh, as they begin to load, you can begin to panel through some of these results, uh, view some of the primer details, the Amplicon links, uh, GC content, pretty much any of these parameters uh, on these, these screens. I can also view the assay details uh, to see where those primers lay down on my transcript sequence. For my needs, I only want the top results for each set, so I can use this button to select all those top results without paneling through all 19 options. Uh, this tool can actually do up to 50 designs at the same time. Since I'm ordering in a plate and our plates require a minimum of 24 assays, I'm going to add a few more from these other accession numbers. Once I have the 24 assays selected and I'm ready to order them, I'll choose Add Selected Assays to Cart. I want both the forward and the reverse primers, so I need this first option. And as I mentioned, I wanted to get those primers in plates. So here I have the option of getting two separate plates, which would be all the forward primers in one plate and all the reverse primers in the other plate. Or I can do a primer mixed plate, which means the forward and reverse are mixed in one well prior to sending. For this case, I'm going to choose a primer mixed plate. This next page will actually load all the sequences uh, that you've selected thus far. So if you would like, you can quickly review those to make sure all this, the correct assays are selected. Clicking continue will begin the actual plate entry or ordering process. So on this first page, I need to enter the email address I would like my plate spec sent to. Then we begin selecting the actual plate options, such as the scale, the purification, normalization amounts, uh, if I want the plate shipped dry or wet. All of those options look fine for my needs, so I'll just enter the plate name and click Next. Since I said I wanted the plate normalized in nanomoles, and since we're doing a primer mix plate, I'll enter 10 nanomoles per well. On this next page, I just need to verify all the plate information. If that looks correct, then we can click Get Sequences or Enter Sequences. Since this came directly from the Primer Quest tool, it remembers all those sequences and already has, has them loaded into this Paste Entry box. I can click Submit to actually load those into the plate uh, in the website. From this page, I can actually review the plate. So I can check on the sequences. I can check on any normalization, uh, any well positions if I want to make sure that all that information was entered correctly, which it should be since it is coming directly from, from PrimerQuest. Once all that information looks correct, I just click Add Checked Plates, and it will add that plate directly into my shopping cart. That was ordering a plate of general PCR primers for a list of genes that I'm working with. If you have any other questions, please contact technical support here at IDT. Thank you.